Okay, this is an official and very quick um, video showing something I just now got from Microsoft. It's 5 o'clock in the morning central time on the 17th of uh, September, which is kind of horrible because it's saying it's a June 2015 Windows Update client, but it just came through now. Okay, it's KB3050265, and the purpose of it is to shut off, terminate, end, stop the Windows 10 update from downloading onto your machine. It just came in. I mean, I just did my updates yesterday, and this one just came in. Nobody's talked about it. I've not heard about it, so I'm making this video. So, okay, so with the, the, this link will be in the video description, okay? That's the KB number. This is officially Microsoft, not Brainout. Okay, this is the way it's titled. All right. And this tells you what it does. Okay, now the part that you need to look at, because for most people you won't be able to do it but one way, is this paragraph here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you did that. I, I just finished doing it. Okay. But I'll do it again. Okay. You go into here and you type in order to in order to do this, I'm gonna show you the steps. Okay. You type G P E D I T period M S C. This then shows up at the top of the screen. You right click it and you click click run as administrator. This is in Windows 7. In Windows 8 it'll be similar. Okay? All right. And and this is the group the GPE stands for group policy editor. Okay? And now if I can get this to go up here. Now look at the text that's highlighted now in gray. And what it's telling you to do and their instructions are wrong, of course. Computer configuration they say down here policies, administrative templates. There's no policy section. Okay, you just go straight to administrative templates. And then it says Windows components. That's here. And then you click on the, the plus there. And then it says go to Windows Update. So you scroll all the way down to get to Windows Update. Just all the way down here. Okay. And then it says double click turn off the upgrade. Okay, well, see, here's turn off the upgrade. All right. So you double click to open it. And then what you want to say is enabled. See, that's what it's telling you to do. Unfortunately, you know, because they still haven't fixed the stupid windowing so that the windows are way too big and the text is way too small. That's been a problem ever since Windows 95. Okay, stupid, thoughtless programming by Microsoft as usual. Okay, but at least they're, you know, saying, okay, click this as enabled in order to stop the upgrade to the latest version of Windows. Okay, if you enable this setting, Windows will not offer you an upgrade. Yeah, I don't want it. It sucks. It's got a Hitlerian EULA that basically shanghai's my machine and all of my client data to Microsoft. I, I can't say enough nasty words in any language. All the swear words I know apply to Microsoft at this point. Okay? Middle finger, honey. You are not getting my client data. Sorry. So you click Apply. Enabled. Right here. See? Enabled. Then click Apply. I do not want your stinking Windows 10. Not until you fix the EULA and a whole bunch of other things that are wrong with it. Then click OK. And hopefully that will actually stop Microsoft from its disgusting new operating system that basically turns your private data into its public servers so that anybody can sue anybody and then go to Microsoft and get that data without due process of law.
See, right now, if you had confidential data on your machine the way it stands now, nobody can get that. Somebody has to issue a warrant, okay? They have to issue a warrant in order to get it from you. But if it's on Microsoft servers, they don't have to do that. They can just subpoena Microsoft. They don't need a warrant. Joe Blow can sue Jane Doe and then go to Microsoft to get her data. And then Microsoft turns it over. That's the way the law is now. Total violation of every law there is on the, in the planet. Every constitution in the world. But that'll take seven years to prove. So yeah, you want to turn off the upgrade to the latest version of Windows through Windows Update. And you do here, and this is explained here, and now you know. And then, then here's the kicker that they don't tell you here. You clicked Enabled. Okay, so now you're done. And it's supposed to automatically save. But this is what you do run, and you got to run it as an administrator. And this automatically is supposed to run as an administrator. You're supposed to run, and I don't know if I saved it in here. I didn't. I'll just have to do it. GP update MSC force. That forces it to update what you just did here. Okay? You click OK. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Oh, GP update, sorry. Let me find out where it is because I know it's on here. GP update. GP update. Yeah, that's it. Exec. Sorry. I did it. I typed it wrong. Okay, run. GP, UPDATE, exec. And then backslash force. That forces it to update right now so you don't have to. See, and it's, it gives you this little window updating policy. And then it's saying it's finished, it's done, everything's fine. And then you can either, it'll obviously go itself. Now that's in Windows 7. In Windows 8, the procedure should be similar. I'm not sure what it is in Windows 8. I do not want to turn on my Windows 8 machine. I hate Windows 8. Okay? But at least you know, and again, in the video description, you'll have this so you can see it yourself. And then just remember, you want to follow those steps. Because the other steps that they give you don't actually work or they're too confusing. Okay? Signing off.